we're finally doing it. We are finally doing a video on truck organization. Hi everybody, I'm Paul. And I'm Amber, welcome to our channel. We've been getting a lot of requests for a video on how I organize my truck. When we got this Airstream, we went from a fifth wheel down to an Airstream, so we had to figure out a way to have more storage because we didn't have the base space. So the solution to that is buying a camper shell and that's what we did. The camper shell is an ARE CD HD model and we will leave a link in the description below of where we got it. For reference, our truck is a 2014 Ram 3500 crew cab dually diesel, which at the moment is very dirty. So let's get started and I'll show you how I organize my truck. The reason I bought this HD truck cap is because the bracing on the inside, as you can see here on top, it goes all the way around and it goes to the bed of the truck. The rack on top will hold up to 500 pounds, which is pretty good for a truck cap. We're going to start from the back, bottom, and work up and then down back towards the back. So back here, I have my battery which supplies 12 volt to my lights and also supplies to an inverter which I'll show you in a minute which supplies 110 power and I also keep a uh, tarp with me in case I ever have to get under the truck or under the trailer or whatever I always carry that with me don't have to lay in the dirt and the mud or whatever and I keep it right there and I also keep extra water hoses. Some of them are longer and you never know when you need it. Here I keep two jerry cans for water. If we're boondocking, it can always run down and get water and uh, put water in the airstream. Up here is my inverter, which converts 12 volt to 110. I use that to charge my uh, drill batteries and my blower battery and uh, sometimes I'll put my we're boondocking I put the ice chest in the back of the truck so it won't be in the way when we're boondocking because I have no way to charge it inside the uh, airstream so I use it back here that way it's got power at all times when we're boondocking and up here I keep our se seasonal stuff this is uh, Christmas it's almost Christmas time, so she'll be putting out decorations. Now up here, it's getting winter time, so I'll put my fans up here and put my fire pit in the back, which I'll show you later where I'll keep it. So let me put my fans up here real quick. Okay. And I also use a budgie strap. That keeps them from sliding out. Okay. And on this side, I hang extension cords on. I got one there. And I got another one I hang here on these little hooks. These little hooks, you can get them from uh, Home Depot or Lowe's or whichever one you prefer. They're in the... Uh, I guess the storage section where they keep shelving and stuff like that. I also have lights installed, one on each side, and I got two in the back here installed. They're 12 volt. I got them off Amazon. Later I'll show you where my fuse box is and all that when I get to the side. On the other side, I keep Jackie's wheels for his uh, cart that we uh, pull behind the uh, e-bikes with him in it. <laughs> and I keep my air hose here, easy to get to, where I can fill my tires up on my truck or trailer. Uh, on this truck, I have a onboard air system, 
I put airbags on it when I had the toy haulers, so, and also I put on the uh, onboard air system. So it's a personal decision on what you take with you when you're full-time traveling, but we're gonna show you what we take with us and how Paul organizes it. I'm gonna show you the tubs that I use, the containers. They're Plano Sportsman's truck. I got these from, uh, you can get them from Cabela's or Po Bass Shop. Uh, the price tag, 20 bucks. So, they're pretty good. They lock, seal. On the tubs, I use duct tape and a marker on what's inside of it. In this one, I have plumbing and caulking extra parts. That means extra parts for the truck and extra parts for the Airstream I carry with me. In here I keep the caulking, my caulking gun, extra water pump for the Airstream, my water inlet that sprung a leak on me a while back. This is an extra one if it ever happens again. I keep Pex tubing. I keep my clamps. I also have the tools to clamp it with. I also keep a serpentine belt because when these things go out, you ain't got nothing. No brakes, no steering, no nothing. So I always keep an extra with me. It happens on the road, I can change it out. I also have this container I got from uh, Northern Tools. I keep all my fasteners, screws, anything that I might need, I have it with me. this tub, I keep my power tools. 90% of them is cordless. Skill saw. Saber saw. I keep a ribbon with me. My saw saw. And I have a little hand staple gun in here, a little, little hand saw, a little sandpaper, a little nail gun, which is an airy nail gun, right here. Like I said, I've got an onboard air system, so it operates that too. And for your air streamers, rivets. I keep extra rivets with me. I keep a rivet gun. Got different size rivets. Rivets for the inside. Rivets for the outside. Because they do pop off every now and then. As a matter of fact, we had one pop off the other day. We just got to find out where it came from. <laughs> this one, I keep my RV wash supplies. A foldable bucket. My squirt bottles. For your air streamers, we use Warburg knives. I also keep Dawn dish soap to wash it to start with. Then I use that. This one's here. I keep my 
electrical supplies with. All kind of fuses that I keep with me if I need them in the airstream. Wire nuts and uh, wire terminal connectors. Also have extra coax cables, wire ties, test light. Also keep a meter. And some extra wire in case I ever need it. When, uh, when you're full timing, you ever know when something might happen, you might need it. So that's really I keep all this stuff with me. I can pretty much do it on the, on the go. Now I'm going to get inside the truck and situate these tubs up front where I keep them at. I keep one extra tub for um, stuff that we want to put in storage when we go back so I just store them in here until we get there and I can switch them over. We go, she goes shopping every now and then, buys Christmas presents and whatnot so this tub is like for an extra stuff. Next thing we're going to put in is e-bikes. I got these tubs from Home Depot. I watched it on YouTube, and that's how I found out which ones to get for the foldable bikes, electric bikes. And also in there, I keep our bike cover. And also we keep our bike helmets in them. In goes the e-bikes. goes the last e-bike. We'll also carry this with us just to help wash big clothes just in case we need it. And I keep my wash brush with me. We also keep four extra chairs with us for company to come visit us. You can buy these at Academy for about six or seven dollars. It ain't much. We also keep her an extra footstool. Prop her feet up when she's sitting outside. I do what I can to keep her outside. <laughs> Good. We keep our outdoor mat in here. That's one of the first things we put out when we get to the site. It depends on how long we're staying there. Next thing I put in there is my griddle. This here is my griddle supplies. I think we showed y'all that a couple of videos back when we was in like Whitney. We uh, did a video on the outside setup. thing is our Yeti chairs.
Then we have our little table for the outside set up. Our little gas fire pit. Another thing I carry with me is a step stool. It helps me get in and out of the truck. And plus I use it also when I'm washing the Airstream or even putting lights on the awning. When I'm traveling, I also keep my slinky in here and my water filter, which right now it's hooked to the airstream. Here right now we don't have a sewer hookup, so I don't have that hooked up. So we'll have to go buy a dump station on the way out. But the water's hooked up and we have electricity. I also store my bars in here. That way they don't get stolen. We also keep Jaxie's outside toys in here. That way we can take them out when we get to the next campsite. Now that we got the truck loaded, I'll show you other few things I have. The sections for my rod and reels. This is for our lights, solar lights here. This is a battery for my blower, leaf blower. It's where I charge my drill batteries. This is my spout for my leaf blower. In here I keep my rollout table and my leaf blower. On this side, I keep the wrench for my sway bars, bottle opener, and connection for my airline. This here is an extra key for my hitch lock on the Airstream. So this is the truck fully loaded for travel, except of course for that water filter. Now we're going to show you the right side outside compartment and what Paul has in it. On the right side of the truck, I choose to put my mechanic tools on this side because if you broke down, if it's the best side, you're away from traffic to get your tools out and stuff. I'm going to open up all these drawers so you can take a look at my mechanical tools. these drawers up from Home Depot. Over here I keep my rags, hammer, extra oil, antifreeze if I need them on the road, my drills, my air impact. This here is my little charging station for our cameras and our little Bluetooth speaker. And I charge them on our solar charger, which has a USB port. The solar charger, I have solar panels on top of the truck and it charges the battery inside the camper shell. I have switches here for my lights, left side compartment, center compartment, and the right side compartment, which is this one. I also have rear work lights which if I'm at a campsite at dark, and I need more light, I can switch them on. A fuse box is right here. I also have a uh, circuit breaker for my solar panel here. My uh, 
disconnect from my batteries on the inside of the camper shell by the battery. Up here on top, I keep my little grease gun and little tubes of grease and insecticide to put around the trailer when we get to campsites. I also carry a tire flat kit which has plugs where I can fix tires. Keep a little roll of rags in here. Trash bags. Windex. I keep this flashlight for my uh, rechargeable batteries. And I keep extra sockets set in here. Here also I keep a breaker bar. I use that when I have to change the serpentine belt. And a torque wrench. Check the wheel lug nuts on the trailer and the truck. Now let's look at the left side outside compartment and what he has in there. On this side I keep guard games, basketball for the grandkids, my tackle box for fishing, a floaty, our beach and swim gear, I keep tennis rackets, Pickleball rackets, a couple of golf clubs, and some golf balls to play putt putt golf. I also keep a couple of solar lights on the outside if I ever need them. Inside here, I keep a tire and a air accessories in there. Here it's just wires and blocks for cell phones and tablets and stuff, extra ones. And over here I keep my lubricants. Got WD-40, silicone spray. I keep all that in there. On top, I have a basket, which I keep my ladder, I keep a wagon, I keep the stand for my griddle up there, and also Jaxie's cart we, that we pull behind the electric bikes. I also have work lights that I talked to you before I have a switch inside for. I have a cover. This cover is actually a cover for a short bed pickup. I couldn't find one to fit the basket so that's what I use. It works pretty good. This antenna is our WeBoost antenna for the truck. The solar panels are up here. I have 200 watts of solar. Now the basket on this only holds 150 pounds so you can't overload that. But the truck rack is 500 pounds. Okay, so now let's talk about the inside of the truck, some of the things we added, and some of the organization there. Disclaimer, we have not cleaned the truck. It's filthy, and we're not in a place we can really do it. So we're just trying to get this video done for y'all. Hopefully y'all can give us some grace there. <laughs> let's take a look at the inside. This is a switch from a air compressor. Each one of my airbags has a switch to put air in and out. And this here is the gauge for my airbags. It's got two needles, white for the right side, yellow for the left side. This here is the gauge for my air tank, how much pressure is in my air tank. Our GPS, our backup camera for our Airstream, 
tire monitor system. Our inside WeBoost antenna. And our phone mounts. One for me, one for her. And also I added an inverter, which is underneath the seat to convert to 110. This is the on and off button. And the plug, which she can plug up her computer. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. <laughs> so, Jaxie has a lot of fears. Our little puppy child. And he has always been scared right from the beginning of riding in the vehicles. And he would press his nose to the back seat and tremble. It was so hard and it, it, I mean this went on for a long time. What has really helped his anxiety is this dog bed. You see how it has this lip on it and that lip goes around this way. Since we put that in there he's much calmer and he doesn't get as scared. <laughs> this is probably the worst day for trying to film this video because the wind is strong, it's overcast, we don't have good lighting, and my camera is not the best. But anywho, um, we do change things around as the seasons change, as our needs change, as we accumulate more things or get rid of stuff. But if you have any ideas on tips of what you take and how you organize what you travel with, please leave a comment below. We hope you guys liked this video. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. Yes, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. We would love to welcome you to our YouTube family. As always, friends, be safe out there. Don't forget to live simply. Dream big. And do life. We will catch you next week in Tombstone, Arizona. Bye. Bye, y'all.